Humanity has evolved so quickly in recent years in different areas such as technology and other things, but above all it has made gigantic steps in the space industry, so much so that NASA and other space companies have launched a nuclear rocket, which would make it easier to be able to get to know other planets, but above all be able to colonize them. Can you imagine that you can go to Mars 10 times faster than what was already planned? Join us on this journey where we will explain how all this will be possible. NASA NASA's latest project, the nuclear rocket, is set to be a game changer in the field of space travel and exploration. This innovative technology harnesses the power of nuclear energy to generate significantly more thrust compared to traditional chemical rockets, which makes interplanetary travel and space missions a reality. The nuclear rocket works by heating hydrogen gas to extremely high temperatures using a nuclear reactor. The hydrogen then passes through a nozzle, where it expands and produces high-speed exhaust exhaust, propelling the rocket forward. This method of propulsion is known as nuclear thermal propulsion, NTP and it offers several advantages over traditional chemical propulsion systems. One of the key benefits of NTP is its high specific impulse, which is a measure of the efficiency of the propulsion system. The specific impulse of a nuclear rocket is significantly higher than that of a chemical rocket, which means that it can generate more thrust with less fuel. This, in turn, makes interplanetary travel much more feasible, as the rocket can travel to distant destinations in much shorter time frames. The nuclear rocket also also has the advantage of being scalable, meaning that it can be used for both small and large missions. For example, it can be used for missions that require only a small amount of propulsion, such as orbiting satellites, or for missions that require a large amount of propulsion, such as interplanetary missions. The technology being developed by NASA is not just limited to government space programs, however. Companies like SpaceX can also benefit from this technology by using the nuclear rocket to explore new frontiers in space, such as mining resources on asteroids. This could have significant implications for the future of space commerce and industry, as it opens up new opportunities for companies to access valuable resources in space. But let's not forget the fun side of this technology. Did you know that the nuclear rocket is capable of doing a burnout and leaving a smoky trail in the shape of a heart? It's the ultimate space love letter. This fun feature is a testament to the versatility and adaptability of the technology and it shows that even the most serious scientific advancements can still have a playful side. It is difficult to predict an exact timeline for the completion of a nuclear rocket, as this is a complex and multidisciplinary project that involves extensive research, development, testing, and regulatory approval. NASA has been working on nuclear rocket technology for several decades and has made significant progress in the development of nuclear thermal propulsion NTP systems. However, there is still much work to be done before a nuclear rocket is ready for operational use. It is likely that a nuclear rocket will be ready for use in the coming years, although it could take several decades for it to become a common method of propulsion in space. The exact timeline will depend on several factors, including the level of funding, the speed of technological progress, and the regulatory approval process. In any case, the development of a nuclear rocket is an ambitious and long-term project that will require the collaboration of multiple organizations and experts in a variety of fields. It is a complex and challenging undertaking, but one that has the potential to revolutionize space travel and exploration. The Soviet Union was one of the pioneers in the development of nuclear rocket technology and made significant contributions to the field during the latter half of the 20th century. The Soviet space program began researching nuclear rocket technology in the 1950s and continued to work on the development of nuclear thermal propulsion NTP systems throughout the 1960s and 1970s. The Soviet Union conducted multiple experiments and tests to demonstrate the feasibility of NTP systems and to gain a better understanding of the technical and operational challenges associated with this technology. Despite its significant investment in the development of nuclear rocket technology, the Soviet Union was not able to bring a nuclear rocket to operational use. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 effectively ended the country's research and development efforts in this field, and the knowledge and experience gained by the Soviet space program was not transferred to the successor states. Today, the Russian space program continues to be involved in the development of space technology, but it is unclear to what extent it is focused on nuclear rocket technology. It is likely that the Russian space program has has continued to build on the legacy of the Soviet space program, 
but the specifics of its current efforts in this field are not widely known. The use of a nuclear rocket has the potential to greatly accelerate the timeline for sending humans to Mars. Nuclear rockets have a much higher specific impulse than traditional chemical rockets, meaning that they can generate more thrust with less fuel. This makes interplanetary travel much more feasible and could enable us to reach Mars in a much shorter amount of time. In addition, nuclear rockets are scalable, meaning that they can be used for both small and large large missions. This makes them a versatile option for a wide range of space missions, including human missions to Mars. However, it is important to note that the development of a nuclear rocket is a complex and multidisciplinary project that involves extensive research, development, testing, and regulatory approval. It is also subject to numerous technical and operational challenges, including concerns about safety, cost, and public acceptance. Therefore, while the use of a nuclear rocket has the potential to greatly accelerate the timeline for sending humans to Mars, it is uncertain when this technology will be ready for operational use and how it will be incorporated into future human missions to Mars. Nonetheless, the development of a nuclear rocket is an exciting and promising development in the field of space travel and exploration, and one that has the potential to revolutionize the way we explore the solar system. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has not publicly commented on NASA's new project for a nuclear rocket. As a private company, SpaceX is focused on developing its own technology and capabilities, rather than commenting on those of other organizations. However, it is likely that Elon Musk is aware of the potential benefits of nuclear rocket technology and the impact it could have on the space industry. SpaceX has always been at the forefront of innovation in space, and it is possible that the company could consider incorporating nuclear rocket technology into its future plans if it proves to be a viable and efficient method of propulsion. In any case, it is important to note that the development of a nuclear rocket is a complex and multidisciplinary project that involves extensive research, development, testing, and regulatory approval. It will likely take many years before a nuclear rocket is ready for operational use, and it is uncertain what role, if any, SpaceX will play in this development. In conclusion, the nuclear rocket is set to be a major milestone in the field of space travel and exploration. Its high specific impulse and scalability make it a versatile and efficient propulsion system, while its fun features show that even the most cutting-edge technology can still have a playful side. With the help of this technology, NASA and companies like SpaceX can continue to push the boundaries of space exploration and make interplanetary travel a reality. Do you think nuclear technology is the best way to win the space race? SpaceX is definitely ready to use it. They have even launched a 10 million pounds of propellant Starship Super Heavy to orbit. Click on the video to know all of the details.